My name's Holotide, and today I want to talk about what has transpired with Bungie and what that kind of means for Marathon. I think we all know what it means for the Destiny franchise at this point, but looking to the future, you know, Marathon looks to be the most important thing coming out of old Bungo at this point. And as somebody who was pretty hopeful, excited for what Marathon could be, does this, you know, kind of mean that it's dead in the water? I kind of made a video a couple months ago about is Marathon dead on arrival now, talking about the changes in leadership and the game philosophy. But now it just seems like, I don't know, it, it would be a miracle at this point, I think, if, uh, if it's good or if it just... I guess, reaches expectations. All that being said, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. If you want to help out the channel, make sure you subscribe. I know 90% of you watch the videos, don't subscribe, and we could literally hit 100,000 subscribers in like a day. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and it means the absolute world to me. So thank you. I could be your third favorite Halo Marathon YouTuber at this point. We'll see what happens. Anyways, if you didn't know, Bungie laid off, fired, transferred people to Sony, like 200 and some people, which is staggering to think about. A lot of very important community roles. Seems like a lot of the leadership is gone now, uh, including like Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, which is wild to me to think about. Seems like uh, Destiny 3 isn't going to be a thing. Tons of leaks and rumors about that. There have been a, a lot of fired devs and whatnot coming out that have, you know, basically pointed the finger at leadership being incompetent. So much is going on. I'm going to try to be respectful in this video because, you know, I don't know what's happening. I'm not personally affiliated with any of that stuff. But for me, it seems like uh, for a long time, I thought the decline of Destiny was like happening. What made it special was no longer a thing. And it, it kind of looks like that's how... Everybody else feels apparently uh, the final shape did not sell as well as Lightfall, which is kind of crazy to think about as well. It also seems like Bungie is giving one of its games away to Sony. So that just leaves Marathon uh, for the foreseeable future, and it was already delayed once. I know that they just had a ton of, uh, I believe it was Apex content creators out to Seattle to like play test the game for an entire week. I think they had genuinely uh favorable reviews but you know how much of that is like are you really gonna tweet hey bungie had me out for our, an entire week paid for everything and the game sucks i just think you gotta kind of take it with a grain of salt at this point but with all these changes all these uh you know sony basically becoming in charge of bungie at this point what does that mean for marathon we know that sony has a uh a tendency to love these live service type of games and the monetization that comes along with it so i don't know i'm really going to temper my expectations for what marathon is they were already pretty tempered um because of what they had changed marathon into you know from being the single player focused game to now even though it had multiplayer to now being this extraction shooter to being a hero extraction shooter and it's just i don't know all the things that i had loved about bungie games in the past it seems like marathon wasn't gonna really be that all this is to say is that doesn't mean it can't change again they had Tarkov players out there and they said, um, you know, anonymously behind closed doors that it wasn't a lot of fun to them, that they weren't captivated by it. So it's kind of weird that they're bringing out Apex players who, you know, that's more of a battle royale mode. And if they actually did find it, you know, fun and interesting, um, what that kind of says about what the gameplay loop is like. But honestly, on a, on a completely serious note, it is a tragedy and travesty what has happened to all the people that have lost their jobs at this point i do think that it is a a failure of leadership and being a fan of halo and seeing um you know that old leadership go as well with 343 and being a little bit more hopeful for the future of halo how long it takes for something like that to change and how many quote unquote failures have to happen to get a change in leadership it just is scary for bungie and i feel like this is the end of the end of the line for what Bungie was 
I just don't think that it's gonna be this like bastion of creativity and I don't know, Bungie, even even throughout Destiny 2, Bungie was a special, special studio in my opinion. And now it just seems like it's going to be like every other, you know, studio that's owned by like Sony or even uh, Microsoft and the uniqueness is gone. And it feels like we're at a really low point for gaming right now, even though we've had things like Elden Ring. I just beat the DLC uh, before I went on vacation, and I absolutely adore, love that game. I'm probably going to do a new game plus soon. I'm still trying to figure out what type of character I want to play. But it really does feel like those type of games are few and far between at this point, which is almost ironic to me because you see how favorable those games are when you let the you know a creative director actually make something that they feel like players would want to play and enjoy and there's not this huge microtransaction push and blah 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 and then you have the other side where all these games are like fiending for your money and how people just end up loathing them and not playing them. I don't know what the future is for Destiny. I don't know if they're gonna make a show or what, but like, I think that as of right now, I can confidently say that Destiny is pretty donezo. It's actually sad because I I was watching old Destiny 1 videos um, from my channel and from my friend's channel um, while I was on vacation and just being hit with that nostalgia of a, such a special time like a moment in time that i'll never probably experience ever again it's just like halo games the old halo games um you know call of duty modern warfare 2 is another game where i think of where it was just like an insane moment in time that will never be replicated and that's sad maybe this means that destiny 1 will get ported and you know to pc and we'll have 60 fps probably not but as for Marathon, I am, uh, I'm worried. I am absolutely worried. I would love to, you know, provide input as somebody who's played Bungie games for such a long time. I think that I know what my viewer base wants to see in that game. So we will wait for whatever the beta or early access or whatever they're going to do and um, go from there, I guess. But like everything, temper your expectations um, and keep the uh, the devs in your thoughts because they definitely need to figure it out. They need to unionize or something because it's just, this is not working. Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. As always, I would love to know yours in the comments down below. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you agree with it and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!